Previously on the Tales of Pork Chop. Ah, oh, no way. I need to give him seeds and apples. I just need seeds, but what? I don't want to be feeding these kids. These kids called me ugly. Oh, I'm just like breaking in. They don't, I don't want them coming up here. So, okay. It looks like I'm safe. I think this is the stairs. Yep. Yeah, this is the stairs coming up. Okay, they're down there. I'm like Splinter Cell or something. That's what you get. What are you looking at? <laughs> Oh no! Oh yeah, slingshot to the rescue! Oh no, he brought backup! Get away from me! Whoa! Look how far they go! <laughs> Baby zombies! No! Okay, like, uh, this is the best way. He can't get, he can't get through that. He- <gasps> No, there's a creeper! There's a creeper! No, 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 no! 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 There's a creeper coming! No way! I hate creepers! Dude! This sucks! No! My house! Oh. oh, man. Dang it. You know what? We're going to start another day tomorrow. You know what? I'm excited for tomorrow. Let's work on the treehouse, go mining or something, and see what's going to happen. All right? So, yes, I can go to sleep. Sweet. You may now rest. Sleep. We meet again, Stephen. Steven. How, how do you know my name? <laughs> Everyone knows your name. Wait, what? what? What are you talking about? I don't think you know this, but you're wanted for one million berries, and I've been following you for the past month or so. Wow. This guy knows about the Western Kingdom. This isn't good. Since you fled from the Western Kingdom and disguised yourself with a wolf mask. I was there. Who are you? I'm a bounty hunter. So, so you're here to capture me, huh? No. I need to find a way to escape this island. Staying with you might help. I don't even know this guy. I don't even know if I should trust him, but that makes two of us stuck in this island. Well, Bounty Hunter, that makes two of us stuck in this island. Let's see what we can do to escape. Alright. So that was one interesting morning. Let's go ahead and recap what just happened. I just woke up and somehow I found myself a Bounty Hunter outside my room. Let's check this out. So here is my house. Look at this! Oh, the tree is growing! The wind is shining! The sun... The, the wind is shining... Okay. Anyways, let's go back inside my house. I don't even know what I was talking about out there. Let's close this door. This right here is a bounty hunter that has been stalking me for at least a couple of months. I'm not sure. It's been a month since I, uh fled from the Western Kingdoms. If you guys don't understand the story behind that, then links in description to what actually happened. Um, I kind of had to disguise myself as a wolf. That's the main reason why I had to put on this mask. You guys just discover this right now. That explains everything about my wolf mask. I had to fled from a king because I accidentally, uh, actually, he deserved it. He was really mean to the kingdom and I had to assassinate him. Therefore, I'm wanted for at least a million berries and that's not good because, uh, the people are after me, so that's not really good. This guy, I thought he was going to capture me, but I was completely wrong. He was actually really nice. I'll hang out here and figure something out. Uh-huh. If you need a problem handled, Ooh. just come talk to me. All right, sweet. So he's just going to stay here for a bit. I don't really trust him, to be honest. He just came to my house, stole my toilet. Toilet. So he came and stole my toilet and everything. And, uh, uh, there's, a, there's a hole in my roof. Let me fix that real quick. I'm not the best of builders, but check that out. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and continue on what we're working on. I think we're working on a farm. We're working on the house on top of my my house. The little small like tree house we're working on. Let's go ahead and start working on that right away. Uh, let me just put away some stuff. I haven't played the Tales of Pork Chop. I haven't recorded this for about a month, guys. So I sincerely apologize. I know a lot of you guys have been going, uh, posting comments everywhere saying, Steven, where's the next Tales of Pork Chop? Steven, 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 Steven. I apologize, guys. I know that you guys love the Tales of Pork Chop, but um, what can I say? It's really tough to make the series go. And look at this. I'm using Mr. Mute's shaders. This is awesome. So let's continue on the farm over here. 
and expand this a little bit. Uh, it's been a while since I've played, like I said, it's been a month or so, five weeks, I believe. And I seriously, I just want to just tell you guys, I really, really apologize. I know that I told you guys I wanted the series to come out every week, but it's impossible. It is really tough to manage a series for about a week. I don't have myself a shovel, so let me make myself one. Where's my iron? Yeah, he stole it. This guy's no. Do I have a backpack? No, this is a back. Oh, there we go. Look, I found iron. Sweet. So, like I was saying, it's really hard to make a series that lasts. That, that I mean, like that I could upload every week. It's really hard to do that since this series has a story and animation and all that stuff. I've already I've already explained this in the last episodes and stuff, so I don't have to explain myself over again. And plus, not only that, I was kind of busy going to uh, Minecon and preparing to do new stuff. Uh, like, you know, go to Minecon. I've never been to a convention, so Minecon was my first ever experience. Let me go ahead and talk about Minecon and discuss a lot of other stuff in this video. Hopefully you guys can sit back, relax, and watch the Tales of Porkchop while we work on our farm and- Whoa, there's iron here! Sweet, I am scoring- What? Is this a flower? Is this a flower? This is a flower, isn't it? This is a flower! Mm. Alright, so where was I? I never been to a convention, and Minecon was my first ever convention, and dude, it was so cool. Uh, I ten out of ten. My my first experience, it was amazing. I never been to PAX. I know a lot of you guys have been to PAX. It's a really huge convention, uh, but. Uh, Minecon was my first ever one and that's where I met a bunch of these awesome youtubers and stuff the ones that I've been making mod packs for like Sly Nova Alex Cupquake Chimney Swift and all them and I finally got to say hello to them and chat with them and it was amazing so my first day of going to Orlando I never been on a plane to be honest like uh, let me tell you the story I've been to Mexico but I did not take a plane over there I had to take a bus uh, that's because like I guess a bus was super cheap and I don't know uh, back then I was little so I couldn't really afford to get myself a plane and stuff like that so anyways I, I've been in a bus and it took like at least two and a half days or three days to reach uh, the destination I don't even have myself a hoe dang it so it took about like two days to reach the destination where we're going to Mexico since I have family down there I am a Hispanic so I have family down there and we went over there and I never been on a plane, but this time it was my first time going on a plane to Florida and it was like a five hour flight and it was amazing. I found uh, the person sitting right next to me was actually going to Minecon and I was chatting with him. He's like a little kid and everything. Well, there's what's going on right there? Oh, I, I think I mind or there. So anyways, he was like a little kid and stuff and we chatted about uh, Minecon and and YouTubers and stuff and he was subscribed to like a countless YouTubers that I know and it's pretty awesome So after chatting with him uh, the the plane started to land and I got to my hotel and No joke Fairfield Inn and sweet whatever it's called suits. I don't know uh, It was a really good hotel. I would recommend them if you're go if you're going traveling anywhere So Fairfield Inn shout outs to them. I'm not getting paid to shout out them. Or I'm not sponsored by them anyways uh I was in that hotel, it was amazing, free breakfast in 10 p.m. and stuff, so I got myself free breakfast before going to Minecon. And then after that, uh, Minecon started the next day. I didn't really have that much time to, uh, you know, explore Orlando much. I just went there for just Minecon. I didn't really go to Disneyland, which I wanted to, but I didn't really have much time. So when Minecon came, uh, I met up with Vacon. Uh, he's a YouTuber who got me the ticket to actually go to Minecon because if you guys didn't know, Minecon tickets were selling out like crazy, and you guys must have heard me ranting on Twitter like, "Oh, I can't get myself a ticket! I can't get myself a ticket at Minecon!" And guess what? The third batch went on sale, and no one was, you know, able to get tickets to Minecon. So Vacon, a really friendly YouTuber of mine, he's starting his own Vacon YouTube. Uh, not, he's starting a a Vacon network. And that's a that's a server network for Minecraft. So he has some pretty cool uh, server mini games going on. So shout outs to him for helping me out get my Minecon ticket. So anyways, uh, once I got my ticket, I was able to go inside the convention, and there I saw like Lydia uh, did like do the opening ceremony and stuff, and I saw Notch and Captain Sparkles and all them. And after that, I went inside Minecon, and there was a lot of booths like uh, Planet Minecraft, and there was um what else? There was so many. There was Lego. There was Xbox, there was, actually there wasn't an Xbox one, there was just an Xbox one just chilling there. If you guys haven't already seen my montage of my Minecraft experience, there was an Xbox one just chilling there. And I was like, wow, it's just right there. i never seen it, so, you know, I don't really play Xbox, I don't really, I never owned an Xbox, uh, 
an original Xbox or an Xbox 360. Um, I've owned a PlayStation 3 and a PlayStation, but I haven't really messed with Xbox. Even though Halo is really fun, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not like one of those hardcore gamers like saying, Oh, Xbox 360 is better than, than anything, you know? I'm not like, oh, PlayStation's better, you know? I'm just a dude who just wants to play video games and just have fun. Like, I don't really go hardcore and say, oh, the graphics are better. I don't really care. Like, my graphics right now in Minecraft, I thought this is pretty cool. Look at this. Oh, that is so cool. Anyways, I'm not like a hardcore gamer saying, oh, PS3 for the win and stuff. I just want to just play the game and enjoy it. No drama on video games. And seriously, guys, like, I don't know how hard it is. It, it's so hard to explain how emotional fans get over video games. Like, like uh, for an example, if you would happen to listen. Oh, my gosh, there's so many baddies. There are so many baddies. There are so many baddies. There, okay, like I was saying, it's super emotional when gamers, like, fight each other because, like, if you ask your friend, for example, um, if he was a PlayStation 3 fan, let's just say, hey dude, like he's a hardcore PlayStation 3 fan, let's just say, hey dude, do you listen to the Beatles and stuff? Like, let's say he didn't like the Beatles, you know, uh, or any of the artists out there. Let's just say Justin Bieber. Uh, <laughs> hey dude, do you like Justin Bieber? He's gonna be like, oh no, not really. You know, he's not gonna get all emotional, you know, and stuff. But if he was a hardcore PlayStation fan, and if you would have said like, yo, you like playing Halo, you like Xbox, he would be like, oh no, man, oh no, screw Xbox, you know, he gets all emotional, and that's what I noticed about the, like, the gaming community, everyone's just so emotional over what game's better than what, or what system's better than what, you know, so everyone just, they just go crazy in the comment section on YouTube, so that's what I've noticed. So gamers, they really go hard on video games, and you know, I play video games all the time. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I play it every day. So video games are really fun, and I like playing video games to entertain others. I haven't really touched any other game except for Minecraft. I was playing, what, Naruto not that long ago with my with my girlfriend and stuff, so... Uh, that's like the only game I've actually touched in the course of this month. And I want to play other games, like, I was playing Call of Duty Zombies, I really like playing that. So I'm gonna go to oh, I can't go to sleep! Dang it! Alright, so we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out there and fight a little bit. If there's a creeper, I swear to- oh, okay. Oh no, no, spider, spider, spider. So, let's just take down the, the baddies for a little bit. Oh, I think that's okay. Oh no! There's more! Once you kill one zombie, they start spawning in from everywhere and I'm- I'm- I swear- Oh no! Oh, yo! No! I hit, broke my- my sword! What? Come on! Stop it, zombies! Stop it! Stop it! No, 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 no! Oh my gosh, I died. No! My items! Uh oh, 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 whoa, there's a party in here. Oh no. Yeah, there we go, assassin! Assassin dude! Assassin dude, come on! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. You saw that, guys? You saw that? He helped me. Alright, uh, I'm gonna use this. Check this out. Oh, uh, uh. Three, one, one more! One more at least! Oh, come on, Nopes. You could have made this at least stronger! <laughs> Nopes made this mod. Oh no! That's it, 360! Yeah, there we go, look at that. I'm so good at this game. Oh man, no! Oh, more! Oh, there we go, one more. All right guys, it's just, it's just, it's war right now. Oh, no, 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 not again! Please! All right guys, Operation Get Out is on go. Let's do this. We are gonna get out, too much noises, spooky. There we go. Ah, <laughs> see, I have a back door. Oh no, spider, follow me. Ugh. One more! Yes! Oh no 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 no! No! Zombie found me! No! Gotta run! Gotta run! Gotta run! Oh no 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 no! I'm, I'm about to die! I'm about to die! I'm about to die! I'm about to die! No! no. Iron ore! Come on! Oh! There's a creeper right there! Oh no! I saw it! I saw it! I hate this day! Oh! Come on, assassin dude! You could have at least tried to help me! God! Ah, oh, my ores! Oh, I have to turn this down, guys. I apologize. Come on, my door! I just put this here! Alright, well, it looks like we're gonna be camping in here for a little bit <laughs> while we just wait. I'll talk about Minecon. So, uh, I met all my favorite YouTubers. I met, uh, Jerome, I met Sly, I met Alex, all those other guys. And finally, after Minecon the first day, I went to Universal Studios and that was a lot of fun. I met up with awesome fans and there was fans that were giving me their business cards and I was like, oh, that's awesome. You know, that was, that's so cool how, like, there's a lot of people 
who uh, started off making YouTube uh, videos from mine Minecraft, and that's what I did. I started off doing Minecraft tutorials, and now you guys are watching the Tales of Pork Chop, and I'm making my my series, like I'm making my own very series, and this is it. It's so much fun, especially that there's a creeper underneath my house. This is the best feeling in the world. But uh, I kind of based this this story, the Tales of Pork Chop. I kind of based it off of a, a board game that I used to play when I was little. Uh, I didn't really talk about this much, but when I was little, I used to just go to my garage and I had toys from something called HeroScape. If you guys ever Google that, it's just a bunch of little toys. It comes with land. It comes with characters that you can move around. And I bought that board game just to try it out. It looked really fun. I'm into board games, fantasy, and adventure games and stuff. So I bought this game. I called over my friend Juan and, and another friend called Jose Javier. And we were playing this game. Uh, and I was the banker so pretty much I had all the toys and I had to make stories up We were playing on a table and I was the dude with the monopoly money and I was giving out money and I was making stories as we go and we've played so many different type of board games over like four years like you could picture me seven 17 years old playing with little toys like honestly, I'm gonna be completely serious. I'm a little kid in the heart so um I was playing all these board games and I was making up all these little stories and this one kind of reminds me of one of the stories, uh, the Tales of Pork Chop. It kind of reminds me of a mixture of One Piece, but it's like, it, it's it's so hard to explain it because the board games we're playing is just like zombies and upgrading and like buying territory and traveling the world in the ocean and stuff. We had like a One Piece, if you guys ever watched that anime, we had like a One Piece themed board game where you get to customize your ship, you gotta get a crew, you gotta get Zoro, Sanji, and all those stuff, and it was a bunch of fun. So that was our, I'm thinking about actually going up on top of the tree and escaping. I think that might be the next way out of my house. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some torches, which I apparently don't have, oh yeah I do, what am I doing? So anyways, I like how the story is, uh, you guys don't really know the story quite well, but in this episode you guys have figured out that I have slayed a king. Also look, my Minecraft cape! You guys get to see my piston. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, anyways, now you guys know the story about my mask, and that has been a question that I've been getting on Tumblr for a very long time. So finally, that will answer it for you guys. So, I've kind of wanted to make the Tales of Porkchop a long, 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 long time ago, but I've never was motivated to do so because I can't really do let's plays because it's uh what is it called it's just it's just not me I'm just not used to uh, talking uh, about stories rambling about things I'm not used to that stuff so I decided not to do it because I'm just used to doing mod reviews and just <laughs> let me force them to your game oh whoa there's an exit right here so yeah I'm just so used to just making mod reviews and stuff and I wasn't really used to doing let's plays and a lot of you guys have been showing your support on the Tales of Poor Chap. I love you guys honestly you guys are the reason why I'm so happy every day when I wake up I see your guys' comments you guys are the best fans viewers in the whole world NO COME ON <sighs> Let's, uh, let's just, let's just, <laughs> yeah. come on, not my house, this is unbelievable, unbelievable, let me get out of my face, okay, so where was I, <laughs> yeah, you guys' comments are like the best, I swear I can't even concentrate because my house is broken, alright, so, it, oh, come on, baby zombies, what are these zombies doing with each other, alright, so, uh, don't know how the creeper came from the roof. Somehow creepers could crawl and climb up. I'm, I have a bat. I'm gonna beat someone up now. My, my, my freaking house. You guys are so messed up. These zombies. The new AI of Minecraft. Ever since they updated to like beta. No, not not. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice that. Um, I didn't notice my health was right there. Oh come on, assassin. I gotta shut my door. Gotta go around to get my stuff. Uh, so what was I talking about? Oh my gosh, what is this? I need to set more traps. You know what, guys? In today's episode, we're going to be focusing on protection. Yep, we are going to be protecting our house and fixing it. So, we don't have to deal with these zombies and creepers coming from the roofs. Seriously, it just came down like a bomb. Wow. Um, where's... I had a chest right here. <laughs> Dang it. I can't believe it. This sucks so much. <laughs> Rebuilding 
creeper explosions. Oh, what? What? Why can't I put one here? All right. So, like I was talking about, you guys are the best fans ever. You guys are hitting that like button as I'm talking right now. I'm pretty sure because I always leave a amount of likes that I would like to see for the next Tales of Pork Chop because of all the work I'm trying to put on this to the series. And yes, I understand that. Uh, I haven't been uploading the series as much, so I'm not going to be asking for too much likes. But 1,000 likes will probably be the amount that I'm I'm aiming for in this episode because I have been, uh, you know, slacking of uploading videos and stuff. And I can't find my pickaxe, which is, uh, sucks. Um, so, I'm aiming for, like, at least 1,000 likes. So, hopefully you guys could hit that amount and that would really mean a lot to me. Anyways, I need to find myself... I need to find my pickaxe. Where is it? Hmm... Nope, it's not down here. Nope, let me throw my seeds. No, I can't. All right. Anyways, uh, yeah, so 1,000 likes. If you guys could hit that amount, then I'm going to be working on the Tales of Pork Chop episode 5. And from there, we're going to continue on the story and see how we're going to get out of here. Because I'm still trying to get out of here. I can't climb. I can't swim up there. Uh, there's no doubt about it. That's a waterfall. How are you supposed to climb up a waterfall? That's not even... Wait, is my pickaxe down there? No, it's somewhere around here. What is that? Is that... Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's right there. Nope, that's... I need to open up a chest again and throw away all my stuff. So anyways, I need to work on protection and stuff. I should use this. I need to throw away my saplings. I don't... Broken orbs. I'm going to see what these things do. I don't really know what that does. Uh, my bed. Oh, I already have a bed. So anyways, I have a list of things that I want to talk about, such as Halloween. Uh, Halloween did pass, and I tweeted out, like, how's your Halloween? Tweet me how you look, how you dressed up and stuff, and you guys did. You guys actually tweeted me some of your costumes and stuff, and it was amazing. You guys looked awesome. I was like, man, this guy's a... The, one dude was, like, a, a skeleton. Uh, the skeleton dude from, what was it, Nightmare Before Christmas? There we go. It was He was Jack Skeleton. So I saw that, and I was like, dude, that is awesome. And I saw, like, countless other costumes, so you guys are awesome for tweeting me those pictures. So anyways, what did you guys dress up for Halloween, or what did you do exactly for Halloween? For me, I had to get ready uh, to go to uh, Florida, because I didn't really celebrate uh, Halloween. I don't. How do you celebrate Halloween? You just go trick-or-treating, right? You don't have a, a party. Well, actually, there is Halloween parties, but they're really, they're really, well, the Halloween parties I know about aren't the best Halloween parties. They're more like, like, for adults, I guess, like, they just have, like, beer and stuff i'm not into that stuff i don't really party much guys to be honest i just pl i party in minecraft that's for sure you know i play hunger games that's pretty hardcore so anyways where's my pickaxe oh, i need to i need to reach my crafting table can i reach it come on one more there we go there we there yeah there we go i did it so did i make myself a i, I know i made myself a pickaxe did i i think i did I fought, I, I, I forgot about it. Well, I lost it. I think I had a feeling I just made myself a pickaxe or did I not? Or, oh, no, no, no. I made, I made planks. I mean, I made sticks. I mean, yeah, there we go. I think I made sticks. I didn't make a, a pickaxe. Oh, my voice cracked. All right, guys. So another thing is my voice cracking. I apologize yet again because I have, uh, I have a voice cracking. I don't know what it is. But every time I, I get tired, or not tired, but when I'm, like, talking low, my voice just, just cracks. And it sounds so bad. I hate it. It happens all the time when I talk. So, when you guys hear my voice crack, yeah, it really sucks. So, uh, yeah, so Halloween I didn't really celebrate or actually go trick-or-treating. I normally do, even though I'm, like, 19 years old. I don't really care. I told you, I'm a kid in the, in the, in the heart. So... Let me make a trap door up here so the creepers don't come back in here and explode again. I think this is how you make a trap door. There we go. Trap door. All right, so I'm going to go up here and place down a trap door. I think it's this way. There we go. Start to open that way. All right, so we have rebuilt the house. I don't have any torches. And usually zombies and stuff only spawn in when there's uh, no light. I guess I, I believe that's right so I think what I'm gonna do is actually get some torches here I'm gonna place it like this you see what I'm doing here and there you go I have some I hear a skeleton he's probably right here no joke huh all right so I'm gonna place down one right here because I know they spawn from here and here and there's an orc oh no 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 how do I I don't have a sword that's right I busted my sword on a zombie's face 
I need to make another one. All right, so I don't know why these orcs are not attacking me. I believe that they are just chilling. I don't have any sticks. All right, there we go. So anyways, another thing I want to talk about is Google Plus. Google Plus updated and forced all of us to use it. And I do not like Google Plus. Uh, you know, at first I, what is that orc doing? He's just on top of a tree. Man, that orc is like Spidey Man. All right, so anyways, Google Plus forced us to, uh, to uh, activate, or I mean, Google Plus forced us to link our profiles with, uh, with YouTube. So now we have to comment with Google Plus, and we have to do everything with Google Plus. And the only thing I kind of like from Google Plus is the notification bar, where you're able to see like it shows a bell. I think it's like a bell or a notification thingy. And it shows your, uh, it shows who posted a comment or who added you to your circle. That's pretty cool. But I don't really like the comment section. It is, it has, it's a really good idea to be honest. But I have been seeing viruses comments. I have been seeing spam comments. I've been seeing, uh, uh my, the worst one are the pop-up ones. You, it's like, oh guys, we found a way to stop Google Plus. Uh, freaking click here. I'm the one. I'm that dumb dude, who clicked there. Turns out it was a pop-up and I'm the one who just flinched and I'm the one who just like exit off YouTube. I'm like, <laughs> like seriously, I hate those. And if you guys post one of those comments, trust me, I do look at my comment section. I try to make it as safe as possible because I don't want little kids seeing these pop-up screaming comments and getting them all upset because they watched one of my videos and turns out it was from one of my videos and then their parents are going to find out then the parents are going to comment then the parents are going to get all mad at me. So if you do post one of those spam comments and you're probably going to get banned, I'm going to be honest, I do banned comments if they're really bad because I am a YouTuber. I look at my comments. I like what you guys say to me and how hyped up you guys are for my series. So, all right. So I put enough torches around here. How about we go over to the castle? Because I have a feeling, remember when I was trapped in the castle, there was a dude laying down and we forgot to save him. Well, actually, there's two dudes we forgot to save. Well, I forgot to save. There was one dude over here, and he's gone. I think that orc must have ate him. But, yeah, he's gone, and I can't... I don't know where he's at. So, we're going to go back over there and see if the other dude's alive. Let's go ahead and go over there right now. So, anyways, the comment section of YouTube, I wish they're going to update that. I'm pretty sure they are, but... Um, oh, it's turning nighttime again. Come on! I hate the zombies. So... Yeah, I don't really mind for it. I'm not gonna disable my comments I know that a lot of you guys are gonna be disabling your comments a lot of youtubers. Oh sweet. I got meat I needed food anyways, uh do, 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 do. I'm gonna keep this right here with me and I'm probably gonna throw away my other trapdoor. I don't really need it. I should cook my food while I'm out anyways, uh youtubers like sly I believe he's gonna be disabling his comments. So you guys can't really post comments That's what he told me. He said uh, he's gonna be disabling and I think Alex uh, is going to do the same thing. I'm not entirely sure. Where's my... Oh, he, zombie freaking blew up my furnace too while he was at it. Dang it. And I don't even have that much cobblestone. Ah, the struggles. The struggles. So I'm not going to be disabling my comments um, until I see that it gets really serious and really bad. And there's iron right here. What do you know? But if I see that there's a lot of... Um, a lot of spam going on in my comment section that I'm probably gonna be disabling them very soon and let me make myself a furnace so I could cook my food and my iron and everything good wait where's my I have a golf club what where, where did I get this Nopus made this mod I don't know what he what he was planning on that I need those bones all right let's get that so I could throw that away I have so much junk in my inventory I need a backpack and I know that the backpack mod is installed so we're going to be getting backpacks very soon. Sorry that I keep on going back to the crafting table. I'm going to make myself a door. Because right here, this is where the zombies are coming from. And I always forget to make a door. There we go. Now it's official. My back door. Oh, there we go. So, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, Google Plus. I am not going to disable my comments. Uh, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. I can't predict the future. Oh, why is everything so buggy? You saw that? Everything was just so dark uh, I don't know it was, it was a bug it was like everything was so black so anyways let me just collect this go back over here and make myself a furnace so I could cook my food and then head back to that uh, castle and then see what we could do inside that castle and save that dude because I know that he is lost and I need that piece of dirt 
so I could get my furnace. Oh, I had two furnace on me. What? I did not even notice that. Charcoal, meat over here is wood and potatoes. These aren't even potatoes, they're raw chicken. All right, so I know the zombies and stuff are spawning. So let's get out there and prepare for war. All right, there we go. I'm gonna have this just in case I need to use it. I have a bow so I could shoot from the skies. Let's do this. What if a, no, I'm not gonna jinx myself. I don't want there to be a creeper. All right, look at that, no. Yeah, look at that. Everything's just not spawning in this chunk anymore. That is so cool. Look at that, None. nothing, nothing. That is so cool. Oh, wait, 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 there's a dark spot over there. Nope. Not gonna forget about it. You see this little spot right here? Something could spawn there. I think the noises of skeletons are up there, or probably there's a dungeon underneath us. I don't know. I hear skeletons, and they're always down here. I don't really hear them anymore. All right. So, uh, Google Plus came out. I don't really like it. Another thing is, I might be streaming again on Twitch. I I, I streamed before. I streamed uh, Cube World, and a lot of you guys did show up. There was about like 5,000 of you guys at one point. That was the highest amount. Of viewers we had which was 5,000 of you guys zombies could see me from this far away unbelievable so there was 5,000 of you guys at one point watching my uh, cube world live stream and I do have a lot of games to live stream so hopefully you guys could stay tuned on follow me on Twitter for more information about my live streams the creeper just disappeared oh he's right there he's under like right behind the the moose room I, I, I suppose so I'm gonna get over here so I'm gonna be streaming some content probably the Legend of Zelda uh, Wind Waker, probably Grand Theft Auto 5. I don't really own the game, but um, I know that the PlayStation 4 is coming out very soon. So uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if the Grand Theft Auto 5 is going to be uh, for PS4. You know what I mean? I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. But uh, I know that I, I have a feeling that I'm going to be. No, come on. I know that I have a feeling I'm going to be doing a unboxing for the PlayStation 4, but not on my channel, but on Ownage Network channel. I am working on my network and it should be able to, I mean, I'm trying to make the network published this month. I want it to be published on November so I can, oh, oh come on, I have to kill him. There we go. Oh, uh oh, Enderman, Enderman. All right. So there's a piece of meat. I can't really, oh, there we go. So I want to break this window so I could get in here and check this out. I'm going to close this off so nothing could come and attack me. Oh, there's the Enderman. So, I'm going to be doing an unboxing on Ownage Network Hub Channel when uh, our network is finally published. We're working on the website right now. That's the only thing we have, uh, you know, left is just the website. We need the website because the videos are kind of like ready-ish. So, we need to uh, work on that website and get everything looking all fancy for you guys. Since we want to make it look all professional. It's a YouTube network. So, after that, we're going to be able to do unboxings and stuff for new uh, products and softwares like the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. I never owned an Xbox, so I'm gonna be completely new to the Xbox and stuff, so. Oh, there's a, there's, a, there's a guy right here. I'm not sure why they don't attack me anymore. They're supposed to be hostile, but since I've been delayed on working on this series, I couldn't really fix a lot of stuff. So let me, there's nothing left. All right, so there we go. Oh, no, no there's another one. <coughs> Oh, they only hit me when I attack them. Oh, the dude's the dude's right here. All right, sweet, sweet, sweet. So we're going to capture him and take him back to our house and then save him from evil and harm and stuff. There we go. So let's break that and break this. There we go. Hey, buddy. I will follow you and find my home. All right. Boom. There we go. So now, please save me. Is he going to follow me? Is he gonna follow me? Oh, there he is! Now he's following me, sweet! So we're gonna make this guy escape. He is really excited, you saw how he's jumping. Um, we're gonna make him escape this place. Come on, dude! Come on! All right, anyways, he'll teleport to me. I know I know how this thing works. So, oh, no, no, there's a, uh, uh, don't look at him. Uh, slay him instead, come on. Oh, no, 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 this isn't good. This is, oh, he's down there. If he teleports right here, he's going down. Come on! He's getting hurt. Oh, he went, he went in the water. Oh, whoa. Oh, I thought that was him. Did he die? Wow. That Enderman sucked really bad. There's apples here so I could eat this. So anyways, I might be streaming. Uh, follow me on Twitch, twitch.com slash scmones.
So follow me there if you guys want to know when's the next live stream and stuff. Follow me down here, buddy. There we go. All right, so I think what we're gonna do is cover this up so the dude won't fall when following me. There we go. And we're gonna go down this way because this way is uh, bad. Oh wait, there's, there's a guy right here. There's a, there's a guy right here. We're gonna take him down. Um, arrows, perfect. Where's my bow? All right, there he is. Look at that. There's no way he could hit me. There we go. All right. So yeah. There we go, and I'm gonna be doing a lot more Instagram videos, Instagram videos, and probably Vine, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do Vine, but I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos because I'm getting my new phone uh, very soon. I am reactivating it and getting a new upgrade and stuff, so I'm gonna get a better camera, a better phone, and- Oh, no, 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 oh, gosh, I had to murder him with the axe. Okay, so, yeah, I'm gonna be doing more Instagram and stuff, and, oh, what? 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 Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Instagram this right now. Boom. Okay, that's gonna be on Instagram tonight. Just kidding, I don't have a phone. To, why would I? I can't Instagram from a desktop. How do you do that? Do you guys know an, an application or, or a website that could do that for me? Instagram, already existing pictures on your desktop? I don't know. Anyways. Yeah, female ogre is right. Why is the female so big and the little, look at the little, those are guys. Those are males and these, this is female. Uh oh, what's going on? Oh, what is she doing to him? Oh my God. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh, what? No ammunition. There we go. One, two. Oh, that was sweet. I took him down. All right, we're going to be snipe. Oh, get away from me. Dang, if she she'd probably kill me if she hit, if she hits me. One, two. Oh no, 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 he's coming up. Oh, dang it. Okay. This is straight to his face. Ready? Oh! No! No, get away! Get away! Oh no, no, no! He almost killed me. Wow, I almost died right there. Alright, guys, we're gonna take down this female ogre. Oh my gosh! He just came down and just killed me. I left my guy Oh no, I left my friend over there. I left my friend. I have to go over there right now. I left all my items. Dang it. And I left my friend. He's probably really scared right now. He's probably been... He's hes getting killed by the ogre, isn't he? Yep, the female ogre probably has him. Oh, I hate skeletons. They shoot really good. Oh, wait. Wow. That skeleton shot me, missed, and apparently hit that zombie. All right. So we're going to go back and save the, the, the dude that was following me. We're going to go there right now. Dang. That sucks. <laughs> I got killed. I'm, oh man, there's more, there's more, there's more. Ignore, ignore, jump, jump, run. There we go. All right, so my item should be up here. Let's jump up here. I broke this window, so it's right here, and it's right here towards the end. There we go. All my items are right down here. And probably the monster that killed me. Oh, there he is. Yeah, buddy. He was waiting for me at the very top. This is the guy who killed me. I'm gonna beat him up with a bat. Yeah, that's what you get. Oh, oh, this guy got mad. One. All right, there we go. So, they're gonna be coming. Oh, there's two of them. Two of them. Oh, come on. They're so fast. So fast. So fast. Come on. Help me. Stranger. I don't even know what this guy's doing, but he's following me. I'm gonna take him to my house so he could sleep there. Because apparently, everyone's living in my house. An assassin. This homeless dude that was captured. Everyone's living at my house because they know I'm the only one here that made it because Apple Grace Village, they they just disappeared. I don't even know what happened to Apple Grace Village. Do you know what happened to Apple Grace Village? I He doesn't even talk to me, does he? All right, so is that all my items? Did I miss anything? Nope. I think we're going to be sniping with our bow, which should be right here. We're going to be sniping the other small ogres, which is right there. Uh, dang it. There was a fence in the way. All right, let's just... Nope, that's not gonna work. Let's see how hard she hits. Oh, she doesn't even hit me. Oh, sweet. Get away. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He's coming around here. Oh, what did I do? All right, here we go. One more. There we go, right in the face. That was a headshot. 
All right, uh, so let's see what else is next. Sorry for the delay. I've already mentioned that Onage Network is coming out November. I've already mentioned that. That's what I've been working on as well. And that is it. Xbox One and PlayStation 4 unboxing. And also, I forgot to mention, since you guys know that I'm working on Onage Network. Let me go a little bit more there. Since you guys know that I'm working on Onage Network, then you guys should know that I'm doing giveaways. If you guys are following Onage Network on Twitter, you guys should totally follow it because we've been doing giveaways. We've been giving away Sims 3, we've been giving away Scribblenauts, we've been giving away awesome games, and we're going to be giving away a ton of games, especially to the partners of Onage Network. And yes, oh, oh, yes, he knows. He knows we've been doing giveaways. So follow us and enter the giveaway all you have to do is just follow retweet one of the giveaways and then boom you might have yourself a chance of actually winning one of the ownage network giveaways on twitter so for our network i mean so for our partners i mean we're going to be doing exclusive giveaways like awesome games we're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff and shirts and stuff we're going to be giving away shirts to our partners so hopefully we could do all that because i'm making an ownage network partner shirt that i want to give like seriously all my partners but I'm not sure how that's going to work. I'm going to be, you know, you know, uh, what is it called? I'm going to be writing down all the expenses here and see how difficult it is to get every single one of my partners uh, a free t-shirt that says Ownage Network. That would be awesome to say thanks for all the partners for joining because this, this YouTube network is run by YouTubers. So we kind of want to make it extra special. We want to make it uh, really fun. We want people to enjoy it and we want people to take down the female longer. Come on. <clears throat> all right. So... Oh, I have a good idea. This is my idea. I'm gonna hit it with the golf club. Wait, wait, wait. Six damage? No way. No way. Oh, oh. I heard some. I heard something, but I'm gonna close this off because I know some someone could come from the, the roof again. All right. So there is a baddie over there. Where is he? Get away! It's right behind that wood. I know it's there. Huh? I have to beat it up with the golf club. Hmm. Nope, it's not down there. We're gonna go around here, and this guy's still here. Oh, he's ready to leave. All right, all right here we go, here we go. Come on. Yes. Oh, it hit me. Holy cow, it, I killed it. All right, Um, that was epic. I just killed the female ogre. I'm not sure if I, I should be killing these guys since they didn't really attack me first. Actually, yeah, I think I started this. What is this? Ew. Is that the heart? What is that? Oh, what? A chicken head. Really? What is this, though? An earth element. That is pretty cool. I think I've already came over here and... Oh, eating the cake. Um, I think... Oh, 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 take him down. So, I've been here so many times already. I just saved this human from this castle. I think I've already owned this castle by now. Like, I've killed every ogre... An existence over here so let me eat that cake wait wait, wait this is where the 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 um, um this is where the food is at so let me see if there's any more food left right here this is the kitchen yep i knew it yep oh no never mind that's poison poisonous potatoes oh come on why does it have to be poisonous uh i'll leave that ogre there he didn't really come up at me so let's just return back home this is the wreckage to the uh to the ship that's pretty crazy so we're gonna return back to our treehouse, which is way over there. Let's go ahead and throw this ender pearl and go over there to my house like a boss. Ready? Here. Yeah, look at this. I'm gonna I'm gonna be right next to my house. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Nope. Never mind. I was not next to my house. I was next to an ogre, which I'm running away from because he's chasing me now. I don't know why these guys are not hostile until I hit them. That ruins the fun. Until, like, a creeper comes into my house and blows it up and just destroys my building. That sucks. So, anyways, I think we might be good for this episode. We've done a lot. Uh, we've done... We talked a lot. I, I know that for sure. But let me just get this guy over here to my house. Just come over here. Where is he at? Come on, dude. Really? Really? Where is he? Oh, there he is. What? How'd you do that? Whoa, this guy's weird. So, let's just push this guy into the house and call it a day there we go there we go we're done we are done with oh get down there you're gonna sleep down there there you go that's your room 
All right, guys. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys will enjoy the episode four of Tales of Porkchop. We got a lot of stuff done. I we've, we've collected a lot of stuff. I think I've just talked about everything more than... Oh, 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 the assassin doesn't like the dude. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys will enjoy this episode. Remember, 1,000 likes for the next episode. If you guys could bust out like 2,000 likes, then you guys are awesome because I know you guys have been hitting that like button left and right. You guys have been showing so much amazing support. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Anyways, I'm going to go back to sleep and see what the next day holds for us. Let's do this. I'm going to jump up and sleep. Ah, there we go. Ah, oh, this is awesome. Let's do this. Sleep time. Stephen, tomorrow we're going to the top of that mountain. I've been wondering what that building is. Today marks day four of my adventures. I have met some new people, such as the new bounty hunter that is now hanging around my house, and also the person I saved from prison. Tomorrow we're going to be climbing up a huge mountain to figure out what that building at the very top really means. So, I'm going to be looking forward to day five of my adventures here on this island. Hopefully I'll find you, Porkchop. One day I will. Trust me, buddy. I'll be there.